everybody back to hashtag bet that Fox Sports Radio 96.9 FM and Fox Sports Radio 1340. I am your host, Mike Knox. And indeed, like my name with three X's, I am hardcore. You don't believe me? Ask that money in your pocket because you did what many are afraid to do. And that's hashtag bet that. I keep saying this, people. My record against the spread is unbeatable. My record against the spread is unmatched, people. 10 and 5 last week against the spread, including going 3 and 0 oh with my upsets and locks of the weeks. How many of you people picked the Bears? I did. How many of you people out there picked the Browns? I did. How many people picked the Bengals with the return of Andrew Luck? I did. People, this is the show, not only the pros, the icons, and the ayatollahs of rock and rollers tune in to to listen to, but it's a show you should be listening to. Hashtag bet that. Let's go ahead. Enough of the particulars. Let's get into some of these games, people. Right now, off the bat, we got a Thursday nighter starting tomorrow as we got Baltimore going to Cincinnati as the Bungles are on home for their home opener after uh, upsetting the Indianapolis Colts and Andrew is he or is he not running out of luck? That's okay. They got the Baltimore Ravens and Joey Flacco coming to town, people. Last week, now, I said Buffalo would win the game. I mean, the Ravens would win the game. I didn't think they were going to win the game like that. I thought Buffalo would cover. That's one of my five losses. But it's okay. You live to bet Another day. And on this week, give me Baltimore to cover the one point against the Cincinnati Bungles on Thursday night football. I think the defense is too much. I think the offense is too much. This face it, people. Baltimore is too much. Hey, y'all. I'm coming for a chicken box. Get it ready. Also, we got the Washington Redskins with their home opener, as I also picked them last week to beat the Arizona Cardinals. Coming home to face Andrew Izzy or Izzy not out of luck. Six points is the spread here. I'm not exactly sure about the six points. It's too early right now to give you a hashtag do not touch because I would touch the game. If this line was to drop a point, I would be extremely all over this for Washington. But hell, where we are without our grapefruits, which I have plenty of them the size of grapefruits. That's mean they're pretty big balls I have. Give me Washington to cover the six points at home against the Indianapolis Colts. Atlanta... Fresh off the debacle of another pick by yours truly, Mike Knox, picking the Eagles, the Super Bowl champion Eagles, to win that game despite having Nick, I really suck foes, although I won a Super Bowl, so we love you. Nick Foles at home is Atlanta opening up against Carolina. Six points is Atlanta over Carolina. Here's the thing. Here's something I did not point out last week in which I made the, the big mistake of choosing uh uh, the, the the Saints to cover against Tampa Bay. Not only was it a double digit lead in the NFL disrespectful, double digit lead against your division opponent is double disrespectful. Like a double dog, dare you? That's double disrespectful. So give me in this game, Carolina to cover the six points against Atlanta. I think it's a close game. Uh, you know what? I rephrase that. I apologize if you got this late. Give me Atlanta to beat Carolina and simply no Olsen. Where would Cam go? We saw when Greg Olsen left in the Dallas game, the offense became non-existent. They had to be very creative with Cam and getting him out the pocket and running. He rushed for 56 yards in the first quarter last week against Dallas. I'm sorry. Give me Atlanta to win this game and cover the six points. Then we got Minnesota going to Green Bay. The new darlings. Listen, people. Green Bay escaped with their lives. They didn't win the game. The Bears gave the game away. But hey, we still won because we picked the Bears to cover. You know who else we picking to cover? The Minnesota Vikings in that one point at Green Bay. Then we got the Los Angeles football Chargers. Listen, people. A West Coast team at a 1 o'clock game going to the East Coast record is like 4-27. and 27. The Chargers came out like last year's opening game and they laid an egg. Joey Bosa might be more hurt than what people realize, and he may or may not play this week. It's okay. No one circles the wagons like the Buffalo Bills when it comes to losing. Give me the Chargers going west to win the game and cover the seven and a half, which is the eight points side. Then we got Houston, fair by three at Tennessee, despite coming up short. And Foxborough, I like where they're going in that defense. The offense came on later in the evening. Deshaun Watson got to get his legs back underneath him. He did uh, 
Uh, only played half a year last year. Still, I like them in this game. Give me Houston and the three points on the road in Tennessee. Also, we got Pittsburgh at home, favored by four points over the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, I, I, this is the game I will go and put right here, right now. Hashtag do not touch. And there's several reasons here. Kansas City last year came out. They beat the Patriots on the opening day, then came out. And, and, and just was not the same team as they was. Now, I did say that Patrick Mahomes would be a problem, and he's a problem. Tyreek Hill is a problem. Hunt is a problem. This team is a problem. Guess what? Pittsburgh, they always play down to competition. Were they playing down to the Browns, or was that who we get with Pittsburgh? We can't blame it on Le'Veon Bell because the backup had, what, 107, 70 yards all-purpose? The problem is that four. I like the three, but I told you already, which you already know, hashtag bet that I got balls. Give me Pittsburgh at home to cover the four. Enough said. Also, we got the J-E-T as Jets, 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 and an divisional matchup taking on uh, Miami. Listen, this is a tough game. He won the game on the road on Monday night, which I, I, I thought I picked the Jets to cover. I didn't. I got bamboozled. I led you astray, and I'm sorry by picking the Lions. I should have known better in that. However, picking the Jets on purpose against the Dolphins? Well, to me, this should be a pick'em game, and it's not. It's a three-point game. But guess what? You already know. Give me the J-E-T-S, Jets, 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 and the rookie. Then we got Philadelphia favorite by three on the road against Tampa Bay. Here's the question of the day. What am I going to do with this pick? I'm going to hashtag lock it up. Lock of the week. The Philadelphia Eagles are not the New Orleans Saints. Hey, Ivan Kamara, listen. You had all that junk to talk, right? Your offense is incredible. I give you that. Your defense, listen, people. Last year's, their defense was okay. They had a lot of turnovers, but they gave up a lot of points and a lot of yards. Guess what? The Tampa Bay Buccaneers ain't playing the New Orleans Saints in a divisional game. They're playing the defending Super Bowl champions. In fact, the fact that Nick... I suck, folks, but I want to support another MVP. It's going to be in the building. Guess what? The Eagles will cover the three points and win the game. Outright. Lock it up. Lock of the week. Philadelphia Eagles. Then we got the uh, New Orleans Saints on the, at home coming home. Nine points over Cleveland. I don't like the nine. I want Cleveland to cover this. I think Cleveland can cover this, but I don't think they can afford to have a shootout. I don't think they have the weapons on the outside that was possessed for Tampa Bay against New Orleans. I just don't like the nine, but it's not 10 against better judgment. And this is being honest with you guys, folks. I like Cleveland. I like Cleveland a lot. It's just I don't know what I'm going to get with them week one, week two, week three. And the NFL are the hardest to handicap despite being 10 and five versus spread last week. Give me the New Orleans Saints to cover the nine points and a very tentative nine points in that one. If Cleveland was to cover that, I wouldn't be mad. Let's go ahead and add it to the hashtag. Do not touch. It's the nine. I'm not sure. If it was seven, if it was six, I got New Orleans. I love Cleveland's defense. It's the offense and 14 for, was he, was he 14 for 40? Was Tyrod Taylor? I don't like that. They should have won that game. They did not win that game because it's Cleveland. Why am I supposed to go into New Orleans and win that game? I cannot trust that. Give me Drew Brees to win that game. Then we got the Rams against Arizona. Wow. I just said, number one rule in handicapping is double-digit leads in the NFL are disrespectful. Number two, double-digit leads in the NFL in a division is double-disrespectful. We don't be disrespected, all right? I'm like Tupac. I'm spitting in your face right now, Arizona. I'm, I'm just spitting in your face. Give me the Los Angeles Rams to cover the 13 points. Hashtag bet that, okay? Then we got San Francisco favored by six over Matt Patricia's weak defense at home, San Francisco. The return of Jimmy G to the Bay Area. Give me Jimmy G to cover the six points. Then we got the Patriots favored by two points over Jacksonville in Jacksonville. Now, this is a game, guys, and I got to have one. I don't know where to go with it. I didn't know if I should take Jacksonville with my upset of the week or should I take the Giants with my upset of the week. But either way, somebody has to get upset. Will it be Jacksonville? Can they defeat the New England Patriots on the road? Nah. Give me Tom Brady and the two points to go down to Jacksonville and show them they're not as good as a team as they think they are offensively. They need help. Give me the New England Patriots to win this game. Then we got Denver at six over Oakland in the division. Give me Denver to cover that. Then we got the Sunday night at Dallas Cowboys, America's former team, taking on the New York football Giants. Say what you want to say, guys. If the Giants wasn't playing the defense of Jacksonville, they'd have won that game. I like the Giants. Upset of the week, the New York football Giants will beat 
outright the Dallas Cowboys. Then Monday night, we got Chicago for about four points over Seattle at home. And as simple as this, bitch, I am super check down Trubisky lost the game. The offensive coordinator lost the game. Khalil Mack and the new vamped monsters of the Midway did not lose the game. The Bears, the Bears, the Bears, the Bears, the Bears. Back to Bears, people. There you have it from the bottom to the top. Now we're here. We got the Bears. We got the Giants of the upset of the week. We got Denver. We got New England. We got San Francisco. We got the Rams. We got New Orleans. We got Philadelphia. We got the J-E-T-S Jets, Jets, Jets. We got Pittsburgh. We got Houston. We got the Chargers. We got the Minnesota Vikings. The Atlanta Falcons. Um... The Washington Redskins and the Baltimore Ravens. A lot of favorites this week I predict will win. But, God, you know already. Hashtag bet that week one and two, the hardest week in the NFL to handicap. Listen, I am your social network's number one handicapper. Brandon Lang ain't got nothing on me. And like Jerry Maguire said, show me the money. That's what I'm here to do. So, hashtag bet that.